it's frightening. It's really frightening. Mother of three, Anna Hoover, worried, wondering if her kids are safe well, in Fauquier County schools. Her oldest already had COVID. She says he had a high fever for eight days. At one point, his lips turned blue as he struggled to get oxygen. One of the scariest things about it, though, is that he, he was like my healthy kid. <laughs> Her youngest gets viral-induced asthma. He has had a cold, and it has just knocked him out for weeks. Just a week into the school year, and Fauquier School says it is quarantining 244 children after possible COVID exposures. 16 students have tested positive, and so have four staffers, according to the school's COVID dashboard. Whenever possible, please ha have your child wear a mask. Please. The day before schools opened, the school board decided to make masks optional. We were not created to live with a fabric in our faces. Young children need to see facial expressions. They need to see the teacher forming words. They need to see smiles. Uh but when the governor ordered schools to mandate masks, Fakir relented. But it has allowed 15.3% of parents to opt out online with a couple of clicks. And far more students than that were getting off buses without masks on the first day of school. It's hard to fathom that, that Fakir could um, kind of capitulate to these really vocal parents who are so anti-mask and anti-safety and anti-good health. A school spokeswoman insists that Fakir is following the governor's mandate, but it is just not clear what it is going to take to convince some families to mask up. In Warrenton, Bruce Lachan, WUSA 9.